Dr. Sakura, ah, yes. here Dr. Rao, myself, uh, <coughs> Dr. Sudhir Rato, Dr. Aran Kalyan Sundar, Dr. Vijay Dr. Samir Ghani, and many other uh, expert panelists here. And uh, welcome to IJCTO for this case. Dr. Sarat, uh, please coordinate uh, uh, your uh, patient's history <coughs> and other angiogram findings. Yeah, we'll, we'll directly go to the case. Yeah, next slide. So, uh, this patient is a very persistent patient. Uh, this is some channel. Actually, the opinion is not so long. Uh, Dr. Asakura yes. is uh, Sudhi Rathor here. Yeah. Uh, what guide cat are you using in the right coronary artery? This is uh, ADL1. Second range, I'm used uh, to uh, micro yeah, uh, uh, And why uh, is uh, FIDA XDR? Plan is to dilate with a 2.5 balloon, but uh, I think he wants to cross the region totally and put into a guide category. Yes. Right. So to re yes, we have, I will show you what the problem of this retrograde now. And the problem is related to the fact that we have, of course, a very old lady. So a lot of calcification. And we would like to go, if it's possible, in a less traumatic way as possible. And unfortunately, we have, uh, okay, we have the problem of uh, the guiding that is uh, the microcatheter is not uh, getting inside the artery so what I I would like to do is this uh, Freddy this is the same wire Sion wire yes this is a Sion wire which uh, of course is not the ideal case for a Sion wire to go retrograde this so the idea is to, to take uh, uh, of course uh, uh, first uh, maybe so, I'm not sure what I can do. So I have to do the following. I have to take it out, uh, this microcatheter. I will show you now the situation. Go, IRO, please. So, so, Dr. Galassi, if it's not a very bad time, could you just bring us up to speed from when you cross the collateral? We left you when you were trying yes, to... Yes, yes, yes. I will show you now. I will show you now. Okay, one minute. Give me one minute because I had a problem with this uh, microcatheter, which is very, very... Uh, no. I think the problem of the left main is coming to, you're not able to get enough back up there to get the microcatheter across, it looks like, right? So this is the situation, no, no, the problem is that the C-septal, which was the one that was conducted, unfortunately is very classified small, so uh, with the Corsair we had a little bit of issue. How much is it? I think Test. Pull out the the no, it's out. It's out. Test out. left. Yeah. Test yeah. left. Test left. Okay. okay. So guys, that's not the real pressure currently, is it? Is the is the two E open or something? Uh, I think it's a problem of. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I think. Okay. Test. Yeah. I think pressure is down more. I think there is uh, some. Uh... Okay, that's uh, that's good now. Yes, Dr. Asakura, please carry on. Sorry, Dr. Asakura, could you just comment? Uh, you tried with XTR and T grade and then uh, you were planning to use Gaia next one and t grade wire escalation. These are not coming here on that. And I took selected antigraphy through the microcatheter. And then uh, I advanced uh, Sion. What microcatheter have you got? Uh, 
Caravel and CNY. Yes. Uh, CNY uh, was able to negotiate this with the chamber. So, Dr. Sakura, just uh, once again, uh, Arun here. Um, do you routinely use Caravel for all your retrogrades, or why Caravel versus Corsair versus Fine Cross retrograde? Uh, today, uh, in deep induction is uh, important. Uh, this carbic acid has larger than Corsair. So, today I said Caravel. However, uh, Caravel acid could uh, not go. So again, uh, for the audience, I mean, then this is a problem that we are seeing increasingly with uh, wiring collaterals. I mean, what, the wire seems to get across to the other side, and then the, the next issue is like you really want to get your microcatheter across. And, uh, you know, with, with the sewers and I mean, the, what we have, Cyan Blacks and XCRs, etc., sometimes you're able to navigate collaterals, and then you are in a situation where um, the, ne the next part of the job becomes really hard. So uh, just to open it up to the panel, um, I'm sure you guys have encountered some of the situations. What are some potential solutions to when you get a wire across, but then you're not able to get anything else, like the microcatheter across? So, Dr. Rathor, what would you do in this? Yes, uh, well, it's a common, uh, it's just a problem seen in about uh, 20 to 30 percent of the cases after crossing the collateral channel. And there are a few things you could do, obviously one of them is you can, if, if the small balloon, if it's a septal collateral and 1.25 balloon could cross, and you can dilate the channel to 1.25 balloon uh, and it is relatively safe. And after that you can cross or sometimes changing the microcatheter or maybe using an anchor balloon uh, approximately putting a uh, wire in the LED and giving more support. Those kinds of things help. But if you can't cross anything and your wire has crossed in the retrograde segment, uh, to the distal cap, then you can use that wire as a to modify your uh, procedure quickly moving on and modify it to something like kissing wire, take a stiffer wire, anti grade, and do a, like a kissing wire, anti grade wiring supported by a retrograde wire in the distal collateral channel, uh, uh, and that works sometimes. Sorry, Dr. Rao, would you make a comment now? Can the microcatheter fatigue uh, lead to this kind of problem, the retrograde? So one of the things is changing to Carvel, other is uh, Corsair Pro is another catheter which can negotiate the tortuous piece. Uh, another thing you should have a good backup and decoding the guiding, taking the help of the guide in there. So support catheter this thing. And uh, lastly you have to change the channel, is the only way to get it. And those are all great uh, potential solutions. I mean, so to just to summarize, increase your backup, try different microcatheter. Um, if it's a septal, it's okay to dilate it with a really low profile balloon. Um, bail out or switch to a different microcatheter. I mean, I'm sorry, switch to a different collateral. Use your retrograde wire as a marker to switch strategies to anti grade. Um, and uh, oh, no. we're missing something there. Okay. Dr. Asakura? Yeah. So what is your strategy now? Could you explain, please? Uh, I'm not sure I think the same things. Uh, I need the uh, kissing wire technique. Both wire are very close. Yes.
and then I deliver 2.5 mm volume. dilating with the uh, 2.5 balloon anti-grade on the anti-grade wire proximal to the bifurcation or right. just close to the bifurcation yeah. uh, and uh, aiming for retrograde wire to slip through the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the dissection created and then can yeah once the wire crosses into the distal RCA through the reverse card then you can anchor that wire in the distal RCA, like intracoronary artery anchoring, and that anchor will provide the support to the retrograde wire, even maybe subintimal, and then you can push your caravel might go with some support if you want to exchange the wire. Uh, Dr. Asakura, uh, the, the current anti-grade wire, could you, uh, just for the audience, could you tell us what, what you have there? The current anti-grade wire. Okay. Anti-grade wire. Okay, thank you. And, and uh, do you believe that the anti-grade wire presently is in the true lumen, in the PL? Is that, where do you think no, it is? No, no. Okay, so, all right. So the retrograde wire has gone, to, because the distal cap is at the bifurcation, and uh, that's a trouble part, and there's no landing zone for the data. So the wire has gone into PLV. Now you have to create some passage empty gradely to get the retrograde wire in or change the microcatheter to increase uh, the wire stiffness. Mm -hmm. So I think Dr. Asakura is now using a uh, guide liner to provide more support uh, to the microcatheter. Mm -hmm. Dr. Rao, can I ask you about what's the...